Our 19-day India Ultimate Wildlife Leopards, Tigers and Palaces itinerary is a true multi-safari. You'll get a chance to see leopards, tigers and rhinos by jeep, by elephant back and by camel back. You'll also get a chance to see incredible bird life by foot and by rickshaw. And then there's a whole cultural segment as well. Agra and the Taj Mahal, a sloth bear rescue center, the incredible pink and blue cities of Jaipur and Jodhpur, and of course Sayana, where we'll do leopard safaris, and little stops also in Calcutta and many other places. It's a great combination. The big reason a wildlife lover goes to India is to see tigers. And there's no better park in India to see tigers than Kana National Park. Kana is where Rudyard Kipling wrote The Jungle Book. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. The light in the park is incredible. And it's a combination of savanna and woodlands that make it very, very unique in terms of the ecosystem and your ability to see tigers. Many other parks in the region have tall elephant grass, but Kana has more low grass, so the tigers stand out. The sightings, therefore, of tigers in Kana are vastly superior to tiger sightings in most other parks. The way in which we run a tiger safari is also a little bit different. One of the strengths of Wild Planet Adventures is that we don't use radios the way most other companies do. Many guides, when they find a tiger, will radio other guides and suddenly you have 5, 10, 15 jeeps surrounding a tiger. Our guides and trackers rely on advanced tracking skills, not radios, to find the wildlife. It's authentic tracking and the excitement of authentic tracking is very different than hearing somewhere on a radio that someone else has found a tiger and going just to see it. So that's one of the things that makes Wild Planet Adventures so different. The highlight of our award-winning 19-day program is the Assam region in India. This is my favorite region in India because nobody knows about it. It's kind of an inland peninsula that's nestled between Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, Tibet, and China. The people are a little bit more Nepalese, both in culture and in looks. The ecosystem is a lot more lush than what you'll find in most of the rest of India. And the wildlife viewing is astounding. We've got two parks there that are nestled up against the foothills of the Himalayas, both of which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Manas National Park and Kazaranga. My last time there, at one point I had 42 rhinos, two herds of wild elephants, a tiger, and countless number of deer, all in my field of vision at once. At once. It's incredible wildlife viewing. We do safaris by jeep and also by elephant back deep into the park. And we stay at beautiful, authentic British style safari lodges. India is a great destination for people who want to experience a rich culture and also an amazing wildlife experience. The combination of two exists nowhere else like India.